Shalom from Israel. I'm at Machane Yehuda Market, and I'm here with my good friend, Raz. Hi. Hi, Raz. He's agreed to give his thoughts on this ancient Hebrew text dating back about 2,700 years. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to read the text, and then we'd love to hear your first impression. Okay. Okay. Here it is. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of suffering who knew what sickness was. He was like someone people turned away from. He was despised, and we didn't value him. Yet he himself bore our sicknesses, and he carried our pains. But we in turn regarded him stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced because of our transgressions, crushed because of our iniquities. Punishment for our peace was on him, and we are healed by his wounds. We all went astray like sheep. We've turned to our own way. And the Lord has punished him for the iniquity of us all. He was oppressed and afflicted, yet he didn't open his mouth. Like a lamb led to the slaughter, and like a sheep silent before her shearers, he did not open his mouth. End quote. Any idea, Raz, on, on who you think that might be? Um, actually, for me, it sounds something between Jesus and uh, Moses, maybe. Um, because he took all the suffering from uh, his people and he led them to a better place. Um, that's it. Yeah, that's interesting you say that. Um, this particular text was indeed written 700 years before the time of Yeshua. Yeah. Can you believe that? Um, yeah. That's why I said maybe something between uh, Moses and Jesus. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Yeah. So I actually do believe that that, that particular passage is about Jesus, Yeshua in Hebrew. Uh, but if it's about him, how is it that it was written 700 years beforehand? Um, you know, all the stories in our history flew from uh, one man to another. And we say that he... His mother, Maria, gave birth at approximately 2,000 years ago. But maybe it was before, or maybe it was a renew to a, a story that already been uh, told in the people. I don't know, but it's very interesting. It is interesting. Have you read the Brit Hadashah yourself? No, I haven't. Is that something that you'd be interested in reading sometime? Uh, maybe. maybe. Yeah, I, I think it's interesting. Um, I talk to a lot of Jewish people and ask them about the Brit Hadashah because it's written by Jewish people. And I'm not sure that most Jewish people know that. Um, I actually knew that, but most of the Jewish people I know didn't read the old Torah or the whole Tanakh, like the whole Bible. So I believe I need to finish the whole Tanakh, the whole uh, Bible of the Jewish people, and after that to move on to the Quran and the, to the Brit Hadashah. Okay, so you are open to reading the Brit Hadashah? Yeah, sure. Okay, wonderful. Now, when you get to Yeshiyahu Nun Gimel in the, in the Torah, in the Tanakh, you'll read that passage that I just read because that passage comes right from the Bible. Okay. And as you know, the Bible is the only document on the face of the earth that accurately foretells the future 100% of the time. Did you know that? That ev everything that the Bible predicted that has taken place happened exactly as the Bible said it would? Scientifically, you see. And always, whether it was a person, a king, a kingdom, everything has played out exactly how the Bible said it would. Well, Raz, thank you so much for your time. I appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Yep.